Welcome to 10 more advanced tips for Dolphin. Thanks for reporting and answering and commenting to my last video and I got a lot and lot of in lots and lots of input to the tips and tricks um, video and now I will incorporate some of the tips, additional tips and more advanced tips that I got uh, regarding Dolphin, the default file manager on KDE Plasma. So first of all, zip files. Uh, if you want to open up zip files, usually it will open up in an external viewer. But what you can do is just go to Control, Configure Dolphin, and under Navigation, you have the option to check Open Archives as Folder. What this will allow you to do is just simply click on a zip file. It will open up within Dolphin, and you have then the features of Dolphin to just copy, paste, and uh, move files out of the zip file. And it's using the zip protocol, as you can see here. So if you don't want to use this uh, specifically open zip files as folders, what you can do, of course, always is just simply yeah enter this command and it will function as you see here. So the zip protocol is supported by Dolphin in general. The next thing that I want to show you is the option to configure Dolphin under navigation, open folders during drag operations. Another method to drag and drop files and folders and copy and move them around. So what I can do is simply go here. I can use this and I can just simply mm, drag this here to my other tab. Let me simply just open up a new tab here with my home directory and let's see, I want to drag this from the zip file into my documents folder. So I'll go here, documents, documents opens up and I can just simply drop it here if I'd like to. So another interesting uh, configuration option that you have, tip number two basically. Then tip number three is customize Dolphin Startup which allows you to customize the default look and feel of Dolphin by going to configure Dolphin and going to startup and there you have the option to always enable split view mode for example, always enable editable, lo editable location bar or show the full path inside of the location bar. I can show you this. You can see it now change the location bar and you can also do this show full path in title bar. You can see it's called Documenta here. If I click apply it is my full path and I can also always show the filter bar. And if I'm working on a project, for example, with one specific user on my desktop, I can always set Dolphin to start in a particular directory instead of using my home directory. The next tip, number four, is configure and install more services. In your Dolphin preferences, you have the option to configure your services. Just like, for example, the right-click services for sharing, for compressing, uh, for actions, you can configure them in the service menu. Just like, for example, you can activate copy to and move to commands, which allow you to easily copy and move to files to a specific folder uh, by visiting the hierarchy here. So this is pretty much a very easy way to configure new services or your services installed. What you can do as well, as you can see, I have installed a set as wallpaper and lock screen service, is go to download new services. I downloaded it from here and uh, this is um, contacting the store.kde.org website where you can have a look at various different services provided by the community and you can just simply install them. There are many handy services just like the one uh, to set a wallpaper by right clicking on an image file. And you can just simply install, hit install on one of the services and it will appear just like this one here and you have then the option to use it. And number five, auto clean up trash. You have an option to configure your trash and this is a very powerful option, especially if you are a user of the trash bin. If you want, for example, not to regularly delete manually all the files that you put in your trash bin, this is a very handy option. You can activate delete files older than a specific uh, time period, like for example seven days. And um, I'm sure after seven days or 14 days, maybe you can change it to 14 days, that I don't want to look at my trash again and restore files that I put in there. So I can safely say, okay, delete files older than 14 days and it will auto delete those files older than 14 days. In my case, I have two partitions, so I can set this up, this trash behavior for a specific partition, like my home partition, 
and I can set, a diff set up a different setup for my root partition. And you can see also there's a limit for the trash bin, how big the trash bin can be on the system. On the root partition, which is a bit smaller, the limit is also 10%, but you can see it's like um, only 10 gigabytes. On my home partition, which is a large partition, uh, I also have 10%, but as it is a large partition, it's almost like 38 gigabytes. So I can then also um, set what should happen if the trash is full. By default, it's showing a warning, trash is full. Do you want to empty it or do you want to um, see how you can clean up files? What you can also do is like delete the oldest files from the trash or delete the biggest file from the trash automatically. So you don't have to care about this. I like to have a sh warning here because sometimes I really put large video files, just like this video file here, for example, into the trash. And um, yeah, I want to preserve uh, those large video files eventually if I have to re-edit a video file or so on. Uh, let's go to tip number six, create your own templates. I was asked on YouTube how you can just simply edit your right-click menu and create new menu because usually it is consists only of folder, text file, HTML file and some link locations. What do you have to do to do this is just go to your local share by default, it's uh, the local.local.share templates folder. If you don't have this folder, just create it. And what you can do here is just simply create a link to an URL. But before we can do this, we have to create the new file that we want to put in this template. I can open up a writer for this, for example, the LibreOffice writer that I will use here. And I can save a template if I'd like to. Uh, with an empty file to use. Uh, gladly I did this already in my home directory and uh, the file is called writer ODT. I just put it in here, move it here, close this and what I have to do right now because this you can see create new has the file not in here because the create new mechanism works on desktop dot desktop files. So what we have to do is just simply create a new link to a location and what we will type in here is Libre Office Writer, or should we say it's an op open document writer um, format, and then enter a location, in this case Writer ODT, and hit OK. You can see it gets a folder icon. We don't want to use the folder icon, so what I want to do is go to Properties and change the icon to uh, Writer. And I use this writer document symbol, click OK. And now I have a new um, desktop dot almost dot, dot desktop file. I have to name it dot desktop. And uh, now I have the dot desktop file. If I click on it, it will open LibreOffice uh, and, uh, and with an empty document. Yeah, uh, what I have to do, w w this is everything I have to do. Because now if I click on write here, create new, you can see open document writer is here. And if I go to another folder, my documents folder, for example, create new open document writer formal, uh, it, it asks me how should it be called. I can say uh, it is test.odt. I click OK and now I have my test.odt, I open it up and I can simply write my file. And this works with every file name that you can imagine, every file, every template that you want to create. Uh, just like for example, if you not only want to have uh, this empty file, but you want to have like a template loaded already for a letter where you just have to put your uh, name underneath it and, and your text itself, you can also save this as ODT files and then add it the same way to your new uh, create new document, uh, create new um, sub-menu here. Now let's go to uh, tip number seven, change colors and icons for folders. Someone was asking me, is it possible like in the GNOME Nautilus file manager to change the icon name for different folders or the color? And this is of course also possible, just like for example, the sync thing. I want to have to this in a yellow color, so I directly immediately see, okay, this is my sync folder that is synced without uh, any um, issues. I can go here into properties of this folder and click on this icon here and then I can just simply search for the uh, yellow folder or orange folder in this case. I can also set a red one. Depending on your icon theme you might have different color folders here as well or 
here's the yellow one or you can set uh, of course whatever icon you like to have here you can go to other icons and create your own icon for example and it will be used by this folder so let's go to the yellow one yellow one hit ok and now my folder will be yellow and if i go into it folder uh, you can see it still is a blue one here so this needs maybe a bit of fixing but here it will appear in a yellow color and i think it should also appear if i move it here into the sidebar uh, it's not appearing in a yellow color hit edit i can also set the yellow folder color here as well or the orange one and it will then use also the yellow or orange color so this is possible very easily this is how you do it uh, tip number eight tagging of files and folder you have the option to tag files and folder and with the blue file searching activated it is very very handy to access your tags that you had you just go to the tags you use the tags protocol just like i'm using it here so type in tags and it will list all the tags that are available in my case i only put two files and folders in uh, the tagging system uh, which are called live build if i click on it it will show my live build folders with my live build configurations and so on if i want to add new files and folders to my tags i can go to my documents folder for example and i can say okay all those meeting files that i have here i want to tag so i can find them again later even if they are on different file systems um, or on in different folders i can just right click on them and go to properties and then set up the tag uh, sorry i have to do this for each file individually go to properties and then go to details and there i have the option to set tags in this case i can add it to an existing tag like live build or create a new tag like bs meeting meetings and it will automatically be added to this new tag i click save and okay and i have to do i can do this for this file as well Go to details add and as you can see i don't have to type it in i can just simply check here and save and yeah this works pretty nice and it's a pretty good uh, feature how was the tag called i think uh, it was called tags bs meetings and if i click here you can see my two files are now added here the cool thing is uh, you can of course drag this um, can of course drag this if you have it uh, in the edit mode you can just simply drag this location in here the sidebar and it will save this uh, as a link and uh, you can edit it give it a nice name like bs meetings and you can also give it a nice uh, icon if you like to folder green for example and now if i go to my home directory and I click on BS meetings it will show my BS meeting tags and whenever I add a new file into this it will show up in here in fact is that um, the blue file indexing service is doing such a thing already not for tags in this case but for documents for images audio files and videos so if you see the search for documents images audio files and videos you can just simply click on one of them and it will just simply uh, show all your documents all your images or other files in here which is also using the baloo services in the background to do this similar to the tagging system so let's go to tip number nine customizing the look and feel of dolphin so dolphin is very powerful when it comes to customizing the look and feel what you can do is simply change whatever you like to change the icon size for the places menu for example i can set it to large if i'd like to what i can do of course is i have my panels locked i can unlock them and then freely place my panel on the other side if i like to and i have the option to control my toolbar right click on here i can set the text positions text alongside icons or icons only so i can fit a bit more icons in here if i want to add more icons and to add more icons i go to configure toolbar and then you can see on the left all the icons available on the right all the icons that i have currently and i can add whatever i like to add here just like for example quit dolphin a nice little button especially if you have a touch screen display it's pretty nice to have uh, another button for quitting dolphin uh, you can add the places uh, menu if you want to thing about it is if i want don't want the places to be shown here i can just quit it out and then i have a nice little small little uh, file manager but i still have my places menu by clicking here it will show places which is pretty handy 
Or what I can also do is if I want to see all my places, I can just click on the current folder here and it will show all my places, including also my um, folders that I added here or remote folders, networks recently used, searched for or devices even. So pretty handy, uh, small, minimal, uh, minimum dolphin setup that I can um, just simply set up here. So this is almost everything for <laughs> this little 10 more advanced tips for Dolphin. But there's one last tip is pasting text as file. Sometimes it is very, very handy if I just, let's say I have this, I don't know what's in here. I copy this and let's imagine I was copying code from a website, a bash script, a Python script or whatever. And I just don't want to open up an editor and then just to create a new file to paste it in. So what I can do here is just go to my documents folder, for example, and just hit control uh, V and it will ask for file name to uh, give it a file name for the contents that is currently in my clipboard to paste it in. So I say just simply test and it will add a new file called test with the content that I just copied. So this is also a very nice handy little tip. I hope you enjoyed this little 10 tips, more advanced tips for Dolphin video. If you like it, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share and thanks for watching.